what's up everyone welcome back to the channel uh, in today's video I am doing a little bit more of uh, exploring of Sarajevo um, I decided to just kind of come to the city and then just go for a walk and check out some of the monuments or national monuments that there are in this city and there's plenty of them uh, one of them is the White Castle that was I believe built sometime in 1500s uh, dur uh, during the medieval times there's some uh, I'm not sure what that was there but that's one of the parts of it this whole area actually of the city was like a was fortified um, there's quite a lot of remains of like this um, uh, stone walls uh, that were that are built and still remain throughout the city some of them are still used and uh, some are uh, um, basically just you know out in the open and um, still there uh, so I believe this was kind of like a observer observatory tower to see who's coming and going uh, into the town or into the city Yeah, it was built sometimes in the 1500s or middle 1500s. Many little times. Uh, if we can get in. This is what's left of the abandoned army barracks uh, that's called Yaitse Barracks. Um, this was built, was the construction of this started in the 1900s, early 1900s and finished, well, no, 1914 or 1911 or something like that during the Austro-Hungarian rule and then uh, it uh, was completed in 19... Uh, 48. So, uh, it's called the Yaitse Barracks because the Austro-Hungarian military moved, relocated the Yaitse Medical uh, Army Hospital, sorry, to this venue you see here
before it was called the Yaitse Barracks, it was called the Eugene Barracks. Um, it's iconic because this actual barracks, barrack or army um, former army military, military base looks over the city of Sarajevo. So on the other side you can clearly see the whole city. So it's very iconic when you look up from the city you can see this uh, uh, building. So the construction started in 19, I believe 11, it was finished in 19 or 48 completely before it was, it was uh, so uh, uh, the Austro-Hungarians used it as a military hospital. After that, after the First World War, it was used by the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. And then, uh, when the Second World War started, um, it was used by the um, fascist ruling regime, again as a military base. And then after World War II, it was used by the Yugoslavian National Army. And in 2000, or early 2000, it was completely abandoned. What makes the cities here? That's part of the, uh, it's all part of the old town fort. So if you put this uh, wall, Watch here. So this used to be a gate into the for fortress. But yeah, check this out. So that's part of the fortress, like from medieval times, basically. And it goes and it just keeps going up all the way to the other side. And then it kind of goes around to that um, white castle that I was there before, where I was before. So it was all kind of, so it's medieval times, I don't know what sort of um, age that is. Um, so we've visited that and then I've gone to check out the uh, Yaita barracks, which is kind of closed, you can't access it. There's a lot of people that go and over the fence somewhere and somehow do uh, get in, but I did not want to do that today, to be honest. I did that some other time, I don't know. Um, yeah, so, and now I'm just kind of walking back to the city. So you can't really get lost because you're either walking up to get out of the city or walking down the hills to get into the city. Um, and I think that's what adds to the character of this city. It's just that it's got so many ways to go into the center so many ways to get out, so many ways to get everywhere um, and a lot of um, a lot of narrow and steep um, roads, streets, footpaths Alright, I think I'm gonna leave the video and leave you with this video here today and I'll catch you guys next time.